I had realized early on that in order to effectively train, you need to be focusing on those examples that are hardest to learn, which ended up being called the support vectors and that the examples that are closest to the decision boundary. So this is already underlying also the other works going on, finding large margin algorithms that are stable. The idea is very simple. The idea is that if you have variety of possibilities to separate examples, so if you have very few examples, there are many ways in which you could create a decision boundary. There's a no man's land between the decision boundary and the example.